includes a setup assistant to help you get up and running quickly, whether you want to start fresh and enter all new data, or if you're coming from a previous version of ACT and would like to bring all your data with you. To launch the ACT setup assistant, just go to the help menu and then choose setup assistant. When the wizard launches, just click next. And the first step that you'll see is database setup. If you already have a database for this version of ACT, then there's really no need to run this setup assistant at all. Just cancel out of this window and then click open an existing ACT database from the welcome screen. If you don't have an ACT database in this version of ACT, then continue on with this database setup screen. Here you can choose to either create a new database or use an existing database from a previous version of ACT. So if you're coming from a previous version of ACT, choose the second option to bring all of your existing data into the current version of ACT. The setup wizard will then launch the ACT database conversion wizard, which will guide you through the rest of the process. If you're new to ACT or would like to start fresh with a new database, then choose create new database to begin creating a database that will store all of your contact, company, and opportunity data in ACT. Then click next. Now give your database a name and you must follow some simple rules here. Your database name cannot contain spaces or punctuation. You can use numbers, but the name of the database must begin with a letter. Next, choose a location where this database should exist and a currency type that you'll be using from here going forward. If this database will be shared with other users of ACT at your company, check the shared database box. And then finally, provide a username and a password for the first user of this database. By default, this user will be created as an admin user of the database, so all permissions will be enabled for this user. Then click Next. If you're using ACT for web, this screen gives you a three-step checklist for how to make your database available on the web. Refer to the ACT for web admin guide for complete instructions for this process. Click Next to continue. And then also for ACT for Web users, you'll see a screen like this, which lets you know about automatic reminders for ACT software updates. When you click Next and then click Finish, ACT is going to create your new database and then open it for you. Once you see the welcome page, now you can begin using ACT.